Hey guys, it's Steph. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be an actress, I wanted to go to Hollywood. And so many people out there right now are spewing hate on me, my husband, everybody who voted for President Trump, Mark Hamill, uh, Pat Oswalt, Dwayne The Rock Johnson wants to kill us all because we voted for President Trump. I have never seen so much hatred and bigotry in my life towards a population of people that they're supposed to be entertaining, that they're supposed to bring joy and happiness to. But that's what I wanted to do. I thought that's what it was for. You're an actress, you're an actor, you make movies, you do this stuff, but you got all these hateful, abusive, ugly people out there. This, this, this trash, this uneducated trash hating on us because we didn't vote the way they wanted to. And they hate President Trump because what? He beat Hillary? Uh, maybe they're being told by their Chinese communist uh, handlers that they have to do this? Or are they just left-wing, zealot, bigot, dickheads and bitches? Sarah Silverman celebrates murdering babies. That's really cool, isn't it? And you wonder why America is starting to really turn our backs on all of you. You wonder why, you know, you can't even have a conversation anymore when you've got Pat Oswalt every day, fat ass fuck that he is, spewing shit about the president. Mark Hamill saying stupid things about the president. What, you, well, what is this, for virtue signaling? Dwayne The Rock Johnson wants to kill me. because I voted for President Trump. <laughs> they celebrate stores being looted, black neighborhoods being burned down. I haven't seen one of them, one of them, except for Hugh, Hugh Jackman of all people, talking about, let's fix this problem. They don't, they, they mention George Floyd, but they don't mention David Dorn. They don't mention Pat Underwood. They don't mention the other people that have been murdered, all black. I find it ironic. I find it very ironic that these people who are our big actors and actresses and filmmakers and all the rest of this shit, this garbage, this unoriginal, uncreative crap that they shoved down our throats, only use black people as a cuddle, cudgel to hit their political opponents when it's convenient during an election year. And that's exactly what they're doing. You want to see the racists? Disney takes John Boyega off the uh, Force Awakens poster before it goes to China. May I remind you how racist China is towards black people? I'm going to link a video on this in the description to show you just how racist China is to black people, okay? Calling Donald Trump racist when he's not a racist. He's not. He's not, just because Hillary lost. What do you, I mean, can I have a question? I really want one of these guys, like Dwayne Johnson, why, I wanna ask you why you wanna kill me. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? You want change? So you're gonna kill me. You wanna kill me. Here's the, the Breitbart article that he's been quoted and is gonna be on this too. And we're all supposed to go to your movies. We're all supposed to go to Jumanji 1500 and how original and all the rest of this shit and laugh at Sarah Silverman's stupid jokes. Well, let's not even talk about Kathy Griffin. Let's bring that crazy bitch up. You know, if you guys don't watch it, you're not going to have a film industry left because the American people have already stopped going to movies. All right? You, you had a responsibility to bring class and elegance like they used to back in the six, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s, oh, and 80s too, if I remember right, to the world, to bring beautiful things to the world. Instead, you bring, you wanna murder Trump voters and Trump because I'm 
thinking Dwayne, that's what you kind of meant there, right? You, you attack anybody who voted for him. You say horrible things about him and his family. Mark, I saw what you said about Ivanka Trump. Just because your wife doesn't never look like that? I don't know. I mean, you know, all because a fat, angry, bitter hag lost. You know, you guys can't handle it. I suggest you all have what I would call a come to Jesus moment. Now, I don't, I'm not going to exactly bring up Jesus, but you know what I mean? A come to reality moment. I want you to all look at yourselves. I want you all to see the way you've been acting. And how bad you hurt people. You hurt me. You hurt my husband. The smashing memorial stones in a cemetery and, 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 and a stone dedicated to the Marines. Shitting out the country my father died, fought for, his friends died for. Because you're nothing but a bunch of self-loathing, left-wing, overly pampered, wealthy assholes. Or you're, if you're not white, you're a racist prick, Dwayne. I'm tired of you. I'm tired. You could accept what happened and get on with your lives, okay? You could support George Floyd's family. You could support David Dorn's family and Pat Underwood's family. You could you could actually go into those neighborhoods and help. But instead, all you do is foam racist hatred against me, my husband, and everybody I love because we're white. Not to mention you're white too. I'm tired. And you all need to take a good hard look at yourselves and apologize to us and the president because you're causing a lot more problems by doing what you're doing. Steph, signing out. See you around the galaxy.